Hello my lovely little enchiladas and welcome to this video. As you read by the title, you know that we are going to be we that we are going to be discussing this beautiful mistake that I have made. Um, but first off, I want to apologize that I didn't post last week. It's finals week. I have my last final today and that's why I look like this. Okay. Just it's whatever. Anyways, okay. So where do I even start with this whole story? Okay, so first to start off, so you guys know that I am attempting to learn Japanese, right? Like, I'm trying over here, okay? So, <laughs> so there's this word that I learned, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's pronounced shogunai. I'll spell it out here somewhere for you guys so that you can uh, understand what I'm talking about. But I don't remember where I learned it. I had to pause it because I'm literally picking my giraffe's nose. How I learned it, but I did. And I just grew very fond of the word just because of the meaning. Um, it, it, please do correct me if I'm wrong because I'm still learning, okay? So please forgive me, please forgive me. But it's supposed to mean it can't be helped. So basically, if you get stuck in a situation and you can't really do anything about it. Why stress about it? Why worry about it? Just let it go and keep moving on with your life. It can't be helped. So I seen it and I was like, that is a beautiful word. It describes my whole motto that I live by and I need it. So went to sleep, woke up the next morning. I decided I'm going to get it tattooed. Okay. <laughs> I know a lot of you are gonna be like that's your first mistake this is why no one this is why everyone hates Americans because we just we just are stupid okay to be honest with you guys at least I am okay I don't think things through anyways but I told my dad I was like I'm getting this tattoo today he was like all right where are you going to get it and I told him where I was gonna go like what tattoo parlor I was gonna go to he said I wouldn't recommend going there so what did I do I went there gotta love it so you may be wondering like where did things get messed up okay so i gave them the picture and the text that i wanted on my arm and they're like okay and they printed it out but somewhere between when i showed them and when it got tattooed it was messed up and they missed a letter um yeah so but i'm not putting all the blame on them i'm not putting the blame on them for sure like it's definitely my fault because if any of you guys have ever gotten a tattoo before you know how they put the little thing on the paper and they slap it to your skin and then they peel it off and it's like there but like marker i guess i don't know so that's what they did and they put it on my arm and they're like go check out to see if that's right in the mirror i was just so ecstatic that i was is that a word ecstatic I was just, okay, I was just beyond excited to get a tattoo, especially this one, that I went over to the mirror, I looked at it, and I was like, it's fantastic, okay? Little did I know that it wasn't. <laughs> so everything's going all smooth. I got the tattoo done. I'll insert a picture here of um, what it was after. But since I got the tattoo late at night, it wasn't until the next day that I actually realized it was missing a character. <laughs> ah! Okay, so, <laughs> um, so my first thought went through my head. I was like, oh my God. Cause me and my dad had literally just talked about it. He was like, make sure it's spelled right. Make sure they don't miss anything. Make sure it's absolutely perfect. And what did I do? I was completely oblivious and I was like, yeah, it's perfect. Just go for it. It's whatever. Yeah, that that's, that's that. Anyways, my first reaction was, I was thinking, I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I was like, oh my God. And like, I started freaking out and I like texted my dad immediately. And I was like, you will not believe this. I'm so disappointed in myself. My tattoo is spelled wrong. And I cried, I'm not gonna lie, I cried for like a solid five minutes. But then I started thinking of the meaning of the tattoo, and the, not the meaning of the tattoo, but the meaning of the word itself and why I wanted to get it tattooed. And I was like, oh my God, like this is the funniest thing ever. I started laughing 
hysterically. So I probably looked like a whole crackhead going from bawling my eyes out to laughing hysterically all within the 0.2 seconds. So I was just sitting there and I started laughing and I was like, well, what am I going to do now? Am I going to get it covered up? Am I going to try to play a funny joke on it? Or am I going to uh, just leave it? And I still haven't decided yet. That's why I'm making this video right now, this part one video, because I don't know what I'm going to do. I was going to do a whole video of me telling this story and then going and getting it fixed, getting it covered up. But I don't, at this point, I don't even know if I want to get it covered up because it is so funny. Okay, I, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. I thought about getting here. I'll turn so that you guys can see it. I thought about getting like a little anime character to go like on the side because I'm obviously obsessed. I have a problem. I was, <laughs> but I was going to get a little anime character on the side and he was going to put, be putting the right character in here because it's actually, where, where am I at? Right here is supposed to go, like in between these two right here, it's supposed to go another character, but it's obviously not there. So I was going to have a character like putting it or taking it out just to like still leave the tattoo because it's funny, but still know that I know it's spelled wrong. Because my biggest fear is that I'm going to be walking down the street and someone's going to be like, that girl's tattoo is spelled wrong and she doesn't know it. But the thing is, is like, I know it, but I, it's still embarrassing. It's, I'm not going to lie. It's still embarrassing to be out in public and have someone be like, your tattoo spelled wrong. You're just kind of like, I know. <laughs> I can't help it. Yeah, I, I don't know. Do I have any regrets? No, I don't. Um, I, sometimes I wish that I would have got it right, but since I mess it up, it just makes the tattoo 10 times better. Honestly, because I have four tattoos. And this one is my favorite so far just because of the whole story behind it. And I don't, I still don't know if I'm going to fix it, like get it covered up or do something with it. If you guys have any suggestions or like some, be co oh, I want something creative. I want something nice and fresh and fun. Oh, yeah. Okay, anyways, if you guys have any ideas on a way to fix it but not cover it up, because that's what I think I'm going for. I want to fix it but not cover it up just because I love it so much and I'm such a goof that it, it I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. But so yeah, I'm making this video now because when I got it done, because when did I get it done? I got it done a few months ago, I believe, like a month or two ago. And at the time I was too, I guess still too embarrassed to put on the internet that my tattoo was spelled wrong. But now I've just come to terms with it and I love it so much. And I also wanted to call myself out before anyone else called me out because, sis, I already know that I messed it up. Don't, don't come at me. Okay, I already know. Uh. So I just, I felt like uploading this video. Also, I didn't really have any good content to share this week. So I figured this would be sufficient because it, it's pretty entertaining. It, it really is. Yeah, let me know if you have any creative ideas share them in the comments or dm me i'll tag my instagram and that thing i forget i don't know words for things anymore um yeah i don't know i guess that's all that i really have to say for this video it's kind of short and sweet but it's whatever i just wanted to tell you guys get it out there i thought it was hilarious so i hope you guys think it's, it's funny too it's even funnier when it's not you that's the thing at least i could be this guy with the burnt Charmander tattoo. I might just get that tattooed on myself for the fun of it because it's so horrible, it's beautiful. I don't know. But overall, lessons to be learned. One, just don't tattoo a language you don't know on yourself because that was my first mistake. Number two, make sure, make sure that it's spelled right. Just do that. And three, don't rush into tattoos because all of my tattoos have been impulsive. I thought the idea, next day I went and got it done. So far I have no regrets about them, but they could obviously end better. 
if you thought them through. You know what I'm saying? But overall, I don't have any regrets. It's my favorite tattoo that I have. And am I gonna make more stupid tattoo decisions? Definitely, for sure. Um, but it's my body. I don't care. I like it there. It gives me a little pizzazz. I don't know. I'm a big, I'm big in self-expression, okay? So you should do whatever you wanna do, whether it's tattoos, piercings, if you wanna get your lips injected. I don't care. It's self-expression. Do what you wanna do. I love my tattoos. I will forever, ever, ever, ever get more. I will definitely get more. Am I probably going to think them through more carefully? For sure. For sure. But honestly, there wouldn't be any fun in that at the same time. Because, okay, when I think about it, if I were to just, if this one were right, it'd still have all its meaning. It'd still be the same. It just wouldn't be as meaningful as this one is. Not meaningful. It wouldn't be as close to my heart as this one is if I had done it right. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just, <laughs> I don't know. So that's all that I have to say for this video. It's short and sweet. It's whatever. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody has those days. I don't have any regrets. Hopefully you guys don't have any regrets. Keep living your life. Get that impulsive tattoo. Get that burnt Charmander tattoo. Do whatever you want. Have a good one, my dudes. <laughs>